These are the two retention graphs from two platforms, YouTube and Facebook. I want you to guess of which graph is of which platform. Pause the video and take a guess. Okay, here are the answers. The left side is Facebook and right side is YouTube. This, this two graphs determine the reason of this video also and the strategy which you will develop which cannot be same as what you run on Facebook, the video you should run on YouTube. Let's get started. YouTube is Google's fastest growing product at 48% year on year growth since last year. Now, but e-commerce brands aren't paying enough attention to it. And if they are, even if they are paying attention to it, it's just copying that whatever is working on Facebook ads, just copy it, upload, copy on YouTube and run it as an ad. But if you want to actually make YouTube ads work, then you need to know how the differences and the similarities of what makes a YouTube ad different from Facebook and what makes it similar to Facebook. We currently run an account where we spend over 10 lakhs on just YouTube ads and been running for over 6 months. It's at a 3 plus ROAS on a YouTube specific audience in platform ROAS. These are not any attributions or anything. This is last click based. So actually which is driving incremental revenue for it. But if you pay attention to this video, by the end of this video you will know how YouTube ads are different to Facebook ads. So you can just craft better strategy for your brand and maximize the ROI from YouTube ads. And if you pay enough attention, you will be in the top 1% of who actually knows how to craft a good YouTube ad itself. This is not a template sharing or hacks and types, tips types of video, but about how to approach for any brand, be it in any niche. When creating ads on YouTube and FB, remember these two rules. On YouTube, it's about education. On Facebook, it's about entertainment. These are the two rules which will gone, which will different which will define your strategy for both YouTube and Facebook. Now we'll get back to this topic once again in this video itself. One major difference in both YouTube and Facebook is YouTube ads are skippable after 5 seconds. But in FB you scroll past just within 1 second. That was the reason you see in the graph also. The first graph which I showed you that is the reason where YouTube you have a small dip after 5 seconds major dip after 5 seconds but for Facebook you can scroll just past through it. This is the reason. Now, So this difference in dynamics in both measurement and approach of how to make a video creator. Let's get started. In this we will cover what type of creative to run, what get targeting, what should be your reporting. This cannot be your same metrics what you use in Facebook. So let's get started how to go about it. First the creator. Hook. In FB, it should grab attention immediately because otherwise people will scroll past it immediately and the hook should not be something about a functionality of product. It should be about the use case or a desirable thing about the product. In, in YouTube, for example, you can have 5 seconds for free and to start and create curiosity because leave them with a cliffhanger in YouTube ads and show them about interests they might want to educate themselves of. You are not trying to make, hamper or uh, pluck their desire, you are more into educating the audience. But in terms of YouTube, in terms of Facebook, what you do is the hook should be desire and too good to be true also can be a hook there because it actually creates a sense of urgency and attention, grabs attention. Now coming to thumbnail, in FB it matters, in YouTube it doesn't. Because in FB when you scroll past the video, when you when you are scrolling, the thumbnail is visible and then the video plays. But in YouTube, the thumbnail is never visible. The video ad plays from get go. So in FB it matters. Next, what is the type of creator? This is the most important part of the video. In F YouTube it is about education, in Facebook it is about entertainment. But this is very theoretical. Let's understand through an example here. Example for shoes brand, in YouTube I will explain the uniqueness of material or product use. That is education. Here I sell on the functionality of the product. Unboxing videos are big here. So YouTube I focus, this is the angle which I will take, this is the approach which I will take with the face YouTube ad. But in Facebook what do I do? In Facebook I will show them exactly the lifestyle I can enjoy with the shoes and create a sense of desire to own them. That is the desire, that is the angle which I will approach in a Facebook ad. This is the stark difference of what should a YouTube ad be for the same product and what should a Facebook ad be for the same product. Ad copy. It's not relevant in YouTube at all. In Facebook ads, it does matter, but not very much. But uh, it does matter more than YouTube. That's the feeling of it. Hopefully, the creator part is very clear because this is what needs to be determined. 
next in the details some of the details let's discuss first the structure of it structure on both facebook and youtube is very very similar for per category one campaign then one ad group per product if there is large number of products then group by similar audiences and group it into a single ad group that's how we run or mostly it is one product category gets one ad group that's how usually it will it's fairly same for both youtube and facebook now coming to the funnel part in funnel in facebook you can run a video ad funnel and retarget based on duration of video watch but youtube is powerful youtube is powerful here it helps to build a longer funnel and educate an audience better in youtube you create a reach ad retarget them both with viewer of the video the video ad and you can combine it with viewers of any specific channel that way you build a more robust funnel and you bombard you try to have a attention of the user in the same type of channels he keeps on watching so that you have major points of attention there this creates a more robust funnel and more personalized funnel and this is where the very very powerful feature of youtube comes in you have this can be actually this we have been using it and it's it's quite powerful in the way it works now coming to targeting i'll not discuss about uh, what kind of targeting interest you should target facebook youtube because both are having its own setup when both are just audience interest you give as an input it's not that it will restrict that with them will be restricted to that only in both facebook and in youtube it's that way you give that these are the interest you might find the audience but algorithm finds its own way it's not hard core things but in exclusions in fb you rarely use exclusions i have never seen fb exclusions being used but in youtube you should be extensively using the exclusions in the best placement now where do you find what is the exclusion if you are running a conversion ad there is a section called where your ads appeared section so please go to there and see what are the channels relevant to your audience what are the channels that are not relevant then keep on excluding what are not relevant so that the youtube algorithm is more fine tuned and the ads are served to a better audience or most likely to convert exclusions are important in youtube next in reporting what's the difference between reporting here in facebook and in youtube in reporting in facebook it's about hook rate hold rate hook rate is nothing but the f- how many people percentage of people who watch the first 3 seconds of an ad but in youtube you don't speak about hook and hold rate you speak about skip rate percent of people who skipped after the 5 seconds of an ad that's what you should be measuring that's how you should be measuring the effectiveness of video to capture the attention and hold the attention for long that's the skip rate metric now in fb it's about entertainment so buying journey is faster in facebook but in youtube it's about education people are educating they are lower down the funnel there so it is good to always obsess over average watch time in youtube because more they watch more they are educated and hence it's a proxy for good education hence it's uh, creating a impact that okay this ad is relevant to me and people are watching more and more which means they are educating and they are most likely to convert in fb however it's not about more about average watch time but it's about link clicks and landing page views and everything around that next scale in youtube you in facebook you don't have any metric which you through which you can assess the scale of the campaign how much you can scale from here how much you can scale from a particular budget when youtube you have two metrics one is display impression share and second one is display loss due to budget these two metrics give you a insight into what's the kind of impression share you enjoy on youtube ads um, among other advertisers who are building similar things and the loss due to budget gives you how much budget you can expand and what's the conversion you can expect by expanding that budget this is very very applicable when you want to scale a particular platform this helps you otherwise in facebook you have to do incrementality tests and everything around that now in attribution do not compare one day youtube click to one day facebook ad click roas fb will always win the go for longer windows uh, 7 day 21 day compare both 21 day of fb and 21 day of youtube you will find better relevance and that is a more fair comparison and apples to apples comparison because in fb people do convert faster mostly it is targeting lower down the funnel people who are already in market but youtube it's both in market and creating an audience awareness also so next what's the sum up of all this youtube is a education hub facebook is a social hub youtube the impact is far more than just the purchases you see on the dashboard because it creates an awareness which is immeasurable in a direct sense facebook also does create awareness but not to the impact of youtube it does not mean fb is 
not good at creating awareness. It is. It is a beast in machine. But both have different approaches to it. YouTube builds more credibility in advertising. This they are. It's a kind of hypothesis. There is not any credible data to it. But uh, we are seeing that when you run ads on YouTube, people tend to believe more. Okay, they are spending on YouTube. They might be a big company. Because what happens is in YouTube, you follow your subscribers are most loyal there. Your subscribers, followers, subscribers are more loyal than your followers. Hence, YouTube audiences are easily monetizable also. So people have more trust on the channel and the people they are watching. That's the creators. And hence, when you serve an ad there, it breeds more credibility. Even if you have an influencer ad, compare it with Instagram and YouTube. You will find YouTube audience converts better, more, and faster. Everything will be there. So this is all for now. Hopefully, this was given you insight into how to build a YouTube strategy for yourself and for your brand. Thank you. Thank you very much.